Alrighty, let's do this. Of course. Hey guys, what's up? It is Emily and welcome back or to my YouTube channel if you are new here. Switching up the pace a little bit today. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the things that I wish I knew before creating these anti-MLM videos. Because quite frankly, I didn't think these things were going to happen before I created my first anti-MLM video, which I will have linked down below. It is me explaining why I quit Arbonne and also what it was like working for Arbonne. So I'm thinking about maybe doing like a and a in the near future, although I don't know how I'm going to do it because I know not nearly enough people that watch me on YouTube also follow me over on Instagram. So if you have any like good suggestions on ways that people can like ask questions, please let me know and also give this video a thumbs up if you would like a Q&A from me. I'd love for you guys to go ahead and follow me on my socials. And if you enjoyed these types of videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the video. I think I have a pretty good idea on how I want to do this video. I want this to be more of just like an open, genuine, honest conversation rather than me like reading off a bunch of things off of a script, which I do have some like key points written down here that I want to follow just to make sure I stay on track and talk about the things I want to talk about. But um, I definitely want this more to just be a conversation. But let's get with it, shall we? So first things first, I definitely want to talk about the most obvious one i guess you could say is the outrageous hate comments that i get anti mlm videos or mlm videos in general are very controversial for a reason in the amount of comments that i get saying like i'm stupid i'm dumb i'm uneducated i'm fake just all these insinuations that people um you know type on their little keyboard and tell me that i'm wrong that and just like all these like silly things that i definitely try for it to not to get to me which i think i do a pretty good job of doing because come on you or we all see how these people the lighting just got really weird sorry the sun went behind the clouds but we all see how these people act on their socials on a day-to-day -day basis and by these people i mean the mlm people the arbon the beach bodies the it works all those people in those pyramid schemes we see how unhinged they are on their social medias so for their opinion to affect me and hurt me it just it doesn't work i'm sorry second thing i kind of wanted to talk about was how i was shunned from the mlm arbon community so i had posted a video months and months ago before i like went on my anti-mlm streak a quick video about Arbonne and what it was like and I didn't I mean I touched the surface I really didn't go deep into depth and that video really didn't get any views until like the past month or so that was kind of like my first initial anti-MLM video that video did not do well at first so the people that I was associated with in Arbonne I guess didn't see it or didn't find it offensive until I later on posted the video about me exposing stuff in their private Facebook group. And quite honestly, it didn't go through my head once before I posted that video that that was gonna reach them because, I mean, my first anti-MLM video really didn't get a whole lot of views, so I wasn't super worried about anybody seeing anything. I just, it didn't really come across my mind. So saying that, they definitely did see that video of me exposing their group and they completely blocked me off everything. People who I have never talked to ever 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 when i was a part of arbon has like blocked me shunned me which i totally get and understand and at the end of the day i'm just speaking the truth and if you are that afraid of the truth and me exposing and spreading the truth to other people if that scares you then yeah i guess it really does make sense doesn't it that's the thing with these people it's almost like a damn cult it's either you're in it and we're all in it together this and that and if you decide to go your own way they're like, and just want absolutely nothing to do with you. So I just find that funny and how the whole sisterhood and friendships are just very surface level and only based around this business and so that they can benefit off of each other. Next, something I also didn't take into consideration and also didn't know before making and creating these videos is that the amount of traction they get and how people are so interested in finding out the deep, dark secrets of these MLMs. How much people want to watch these videos and 
want to learn more and also there are the MLMers who are a part of these MLMs and watch these videos anyway and comment just the weirdest stuff that just doesn't make sense and everybody roasts them in the comments anyway. So I'm just like, why are you doing that to yourself? So I actually, there's people that I notice because I mean, my videos don't get like that many views, but I get enough to where there's comments and I definitely see a pattern of like who comments and all that. So there are like people who are MLMers and MLMs and will like go to my channel every time I upload and watch my videos and just comment just rude ass shit. But I got confronted with one of them. I was like, what are you doing watching every single one of my videos and commenting like bit obsessive and weird like what are you afraid that I'm going to say I mean and at the end of the day like thank you for giving my video a dislike because that still helps and thank you for giving my video a view and watching it all the way through because that also helps so like I, it's more of like a thank you like it's weird that you're doing that but also thank you and following up also just like the personal attacks that people like the keyboard warriors I guess just saying the silliest crap in the comments and like about me too that just doesn't make any sense i think somebody said once i think it was last week they were like oh my god the way you plug your socials in the beginning sounds so fake and you're just like such a fake girl and this and that and i'm like huh i feel like it's pretty usual and typical for youtubers to plug their socials throughout their video maybe they're just new to watching youtube videos i don't know but i'm just like you are just like reaching at that point telling me that I'm fake for plugging my socials and begging for people to follow me. Like, I don't know. I just thought that was such a reach and why are you doing that? Also, before creating these videos, I didn't realize how passionate I was about the anti-MLM community and what it stands for. Like you guys, I'm sure the more and more you read on this stuff, the more you watch these anti-MLM videos and these MLMers getting exposed, the more it just makes you mad that people are doing this to other people, vulnerable people preying upon them. And I don't know if you guys feel anything like me, it just makes you mad inside and angry and frustrated and upset for these people that have no idea what they're getting into and the money that 99% of people lose and don't make a profit. And if I could save just one person by making this video and help them not go into debt or not make profit in this pyramid scheme, like that's all that matters to me. There's nothing illegal or wrong about making these videos. So I'm going to keep doing it and people can tell me to F off all they want or tell me that I'm uneducated, I'm wrong, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't care. You can blow my phone up, you can comment whatever you want, Instagram me, don't care, doesn't bother me. And honestly, the more people that do comment that kind of like fuels me and gets me going almost and I'm just like heck yeah I'm gonna keep going with this and do what I need to do to spread the word. But yeah guys that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it and stuck until the end. Thank you if you did. really hope you enjoyed the change of pace. It was um, really nice to just sit here and talk and express my opinions on this matter and what it was really like for me and what I didn't know before starting to make these videos. I'm also just really excited for where my channel could be going or is going at the moment and I'm just, I'm pumped up about it, I'm fired up and I love it. If you want to see a Q&A from me, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. I hope you all are having a wonderful rest of your day. I love you guys and I will catch you all in my next video, okay? Bye!